Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing around with the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. So if you'd like to see some of my thoughts and the look that I created using one of the palettes, then please just keep on watching. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay a while. Hey guys, today we are playing around with this little guy and I thought of several times on how to do this video and I think what I'm going to do is a video for each palette to give each palette a chance because I feel like if I put all these palettes into one video number one we're going to have a video that's an hour long and number two I'll, I'll feel like that I'm just rushing through it and I want to give it my honest opinion on each one so I think today I'm just going to pick a random palette, do it, my next video, so forth and so on. But this is what she looks like. It's very nice packaging now. I won't lie about that. And on the bottom it's got its 12 month shelf life. It's got her picture and a write up to her, her fans or subscribers. It's got a sticker over where the ingredients are and I'm not sure if these I'm going to try to take this off if the ingredients on this tag is identical to what's under here I don't know I haven't pulled this off and looked I'm trying to pull it off real slow now everybody knows me knows I'm half blind so It might take me a minute to try to see. I'll stick it there. Okay, in the new, in this tag, the first ingredient is mica, and under the tab, the first ingredient is talc. So I guess ingredients might have changed, but in my honest opinion, it's nothing to do this and say we changed it. That's just me though now. Don't don't get me twisted. I don't want to come off as looking for things wrong with this right off the bat, but I want to show you guys what I see when I'm seeing it. All right, so when you open her up, she's nice and bubble wrapped. She's she's got a good protection on it. And then this is what she looks like. Just her her emblem or design is really cute. I like it. Now, they saying they're having a little bit of issues with Becca over it, but that's not here nor there. Nobody knows that for real, for sure. And then you just pull them out. It's got the little, so you can get them out. It, this reminds me of um, trilogy, trilogy books, the way they've got it set up. But this is what they look like. I, I did pick them all up. What's this one? This is Bling Boss. This is what she looks like. Let's set this to the side. I did swatch these for my Snapchat. Other than that, I used this palette in my... What was that? When I was doing the ColourPop jellies, this was the palette that I used. The rest of the palettes uh, were only swatched. I haven't used them. But she does have a batch number on the back. She's got a 12 month lifespan. And that's it. There's no V2 stamp or anything on this palette, if you guys can see. So, in my humble opinion, this is not reformulated otherwise wouldn't you think they would all be stamped with a v2 like she said i mean i don't know i'm just i'm just saying i don't want to go in this review as a well she said and it's not because all it's going to do is leave a bad taste in my mouth now they did say that we could send these back if we wasn't completely satisfied with them and get a return or 
you know, a replacement. I would want the replacement. That's the whole reason why I bought this bundle deal. But if they're going to replace it with the same, it's kind of pointless, don't you think? Anyway, I'll show you guys all of the palettes. This is Dark Magic. And same thing. Only on this one, the batch code is right in here. I had to take a flashlight and really look to see that yes, there is in fact a code there, but it is a very light. But this is what she looks like. The next one is Armed and Gorgeous. Same thing. No V2 on any of them, but a very light stamp for that batch code. And that's what she looks like. And then the last, but certainly not least, Ring the Alarm. That's her colors. And the same. The slightest, it's right in here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't know what's going on with them, but I can tell you this. In my years of being alive on this earth, people who lie, steal, and cheat always end up with nothing. So if that's what they're doing, you know, I, I, would, I would certainly hope not. But if that's the case, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have a good turnout, that's all I'm gonna say. I guess we're just gonna go in with Bling Boss to start off. Since that, I kind of got an idea about that palette anyways, from using it um, in the ColourPop video. Let me set that to the side. Um, so I feel like we'll just keep it, keep that going and then just, uh, work our way out and into the other palettes from there. I don't have anything on my arm, by the way, guys. Um, that is Bling Bling. Hush Hush. Jim and Pizzazz. That's those four. The next four is Mystic, Sparks, Glitz and Glam, and Rockstar. And that's them for the last two is Ballsy and Berry Treasure. What was I going to say a while ago? From, from just watching these shadows and like feeling them, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of backstory while I put while I do this tutorial. My first um, now, guys, I primed my lids and powdered. I'll just I'm doing my makeup just like I would do with any other palette. I didn't do a sticky base or anything. This. This is going in just the way I would do my makeup normal. Okay, back to my story. Um, when I first come across Morphe, I started buying their brushes. And I went from junk brushes, and what I mean by junk brushes is, you know the brushes that you can buy in a complete pack and you've got like a big powder brush all the way down to a spoolie and in a sponge applicator? That. Okay, I went from those to this brush set, and I fell in love with these brush, brushes, and, and I'll tell you why. On the, the big packs, 
you buy those brushes, but over time, I probably got six months out of them things, which granted, I didn't pay a bunch of money for it. I think I got it off of tmart.com. If you've ever shopped there, it's like, I don't, I wouldn't say foreign things, but it's at, it's at a, di a cheaper price. I'll say that. Okay, well, I come across Morphe, and I really fell in love with their brushes. Um, I, I learned how to care for my brushes from having crappy brushes. Okay, well, this is just a clean fluffy. Um, I then thought, hey, that 35O palette looks really good, and everybody's talking about it. I want to try it. Now... Mind you, my palette, um, what do you call it? Brown tone, earth tones, neutrals. My palette, go-to palettes for those type of colors was the Urban Decay Naked palettes. So I want, like, my palettes from Urban Decay, the Naked ones, or when the Naked first came out. So they're old. I still have them. I, I wouldn't throw them away for nothing, but... Um, I went on ahead and thought I purchased that 35 O palette. Uh, next I'm going to go in with Sparks on an M433. Okay, well, I bought that palette and I got it home and I used it. And I'm going to tell you what, swatching these, that's exactly what what it feels like to me I no longer have that palette I wish that I had it I gave it to my daughter but just so I could, could see the, the two if there was any real difference in it but swatching these palettes that's what I'm getting out of it the vibes I mean I could be totally wrong and you know everybody's got a different preference on makeups I may love this palette, you may not, but that's that's what I keep coming up with, guys. I don't I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but I think these little shadows. This is my personal thought on it. I think these little shadows. Sure, they was gonna go in her palette. They was not formulated like her big palette because. If you will go back and watch Jaclyn Hill's um, video when she was talking about revealing all of this stuff, she says it clearly in that video. Now, that this is her words, not mine, that they went through and picked out which ones they were going to send and, and for this palette, the big palette, not these little ones. that these were left to the side. They no longer, I guess you could say critique the, or tweaked on the formula because they knew they wasn't gonna be in the palette. So in my opinion, these, it's just a Morphe shadow. It got Jaclyn Hill's name on it. That's what I think. I could be totally wrong, but that's just my little hum humble opinion about it. So far, these two colors you guys are watching on, they're blending together nicely. I mean, they could be a little, more, I'm gonna go back in with the sparks. They could be a little bit more oomph to them, but so far, I'm not mad about it. You do have to go back in the palette several times to get your color payoff as opposed to her original palette. Her original palette, I mean, it's just one, and it, you got pigment. This, I notice you have to work on a little bit, and that's why I said, I believe this is just a Morphe shadow, not a Jaclyn Hill shadow. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, like, I'll be the first one to tell you I was wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. You guys can. 
can see. All right, I am gonna take, what do I wanna do next? Mystic, I'm just gonna go steal on it, M433 and go in Mystic. See if I can't deepen up a little. These, this palette, it's got some pretty palettes. It's got some pretty shades, some pretty palettes. Um, I'm gonna spray this brush. No, I'm not. We're gonna go in and we're just gonna try it right dry and see what happens before we spray it. And with this pizzazz. See what she's about. I love a good red eye against blue eyes. They just make your eyes pop so pretty. Layered up good. If this, in fact, like if this is the first batch, since, since mine is not stamped V2, I wonder what the other if there's any change in it. I mean, mine had this, st this sticker on the outside box, so with that sticker being on it, tells you that this should have been the second batch, right? But there's no V2 stamped on the back. So I just wonder, what was the other formula about? Or do I have the formula? It, like, it's confusing. What's going on? <laughs> All right, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to finish my face off camera, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to finish the lower lash, and, and I'm going to tell you what my final thoughts are on the Bling Boss palette. All right, guys, my glue is still drying. I did some Baddington lashes, some roller lash, and y'all know the OG Ofra gels, gel liner. Let's go in. We're gonna take this Morphe 213 and go in Mystic. Yeah. Just smudge that on that lower lash. Start tying this look together. that line so it's not so harsh I'll probably blend it all the way because I noticed on the top that if you don't watch you will blend it all the way like I said I didn't go in with a tacky base or anything to try to help the shadow I want to see what the shadow can do on its own final thoughts on this Bling Boss palette. She's a cute palette, don't get me wrong. Um, I found that if you blend too much, you will blend away the shadows. In my opinion, this formula is not the same as this formula. To me, if you have this palette, there's really no need to own this palette because you see the similarities. I mean, the only one shadow that sticks out in this palette that 
this one you couldn't dupe anyway would be this, what is it, Berry Treasure. And like I said, this was one that I had my eye on because of that color. If I found it unique to my collection, I didn't have anything like that. To say they went back and reformulated this, I would call BS on it, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, this it's not the same. The only thing that makes it the same is that it's got Jaclyn Hill's name on it. Number two, they didn't have enough time to go back, reformulate, repress, whatever it is. They did. They, they was only out a month and then come back and said, well, we're going to do our release date. So to me, that tells me that the Becca line story is probably more true than false. But if I had... If I had to recommend this palette to you, would I buy it? I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's a $15 palette. You're going to get what you pay for. To say it's an extension of this, it's not an extension of this. The only thing that makes it an extension to the original Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette is that it has Jacqueline Hill and Morphe's names on it. That's it. Other than these shadows I would recommend this palette if you didn't have the big palette but keep in mind it's a $15 palette you get what you pay for I reached out to Morphe about the V2 on the back what does it mean what does it don't mean do, do I need to send this back or, I probably won't ever hear from them to be honest you know how many thousands of people have already contacted them so it would be to no surprise if they do reach out. I've got videos of this coming soon. You guys will know about it. I'll mention it. I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to hide or add to or take away anything. So you guys will hear about it. All right, that's it for me, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.